Teacher turnover is a significant challenge for T4T states and districts, and the research shows that retention really matters. Teachers become more effective the longer they are on the job, and effective teachers are a way to close achievement gaps. Each state and district team has identified a T4T strategy, and they are all in varying stages of implementation. T4TLA has really helped Indiana and Kokomo really focus on how we can support our new teachers and help them be successful in their first couple of years of teaching. We started to address the issue by first coming up with what we thought some of the causes were, why teachers weren't staying or why they were choosing to leave. And then we, um, that led us to kind of what supports new teachers needed to feel mm -hmm. confident, to feel successful. And so through that, we've come up with a mentoring and induction program. Um, that we've been working on putting together to really support our new teachers that are coming in. So our mentoring and induction program um, looks at our teachers for the first three years that they're in our district. Um, there's an induction program the first week of their contract, so before school starts. They work for a full week, um, just a lot of professional development, getting them ready to start their classroom, and then they're paired with a mentor. And that mentor will ideally be with them for the next three years. T4TLA has supported us in a lot of different ways. Um, they've had our, the national conferences where, again, we work with other uh, corporations, other states that are going through the same process, so a lot of collaboration, sharing of ideas, sharing of resources. I think when you hear the Kokomo team talk about their work, you can see that they're excited about the work. They're proud of the fact that they retained all of the teachers that they had in the first year that they started this work. And I think at the ground level, that is really important. In Mississippi, low retention rates matter as they do across the country. When, when you have low retention rates, what you have is high turnover. And so when we think about moving the needle in terms of student performance, instructional leadership and instructional expertise is critical. Um, in one year, equipment has moved from a grade of F to a grade of C. And much of that is really because of good instructional leadership or improved instructional leadership. So with instructional leadership, they're making data-based decisions. They're really tracking student performance in such a way that they know what students need and they're able to get that to them in real time. They're able to look um, at trends of excellence and capitalize on those and leverage those among students as well. Doherty County is working on developing a more comprehensive and intensive support program for their teachers. So frequently they find that the teachers may not have the uh, content expertise that they need to be as effective as they want them to be in the classroom. And so they've been able to provide some intensive uh, weekend and after school training opportunities for those teachers to improve their abilities in the classroom. And it's a revolving door. So we're trying to close that revolving door of teachers and maintain and retain our highly effective teachers. And this initiative has helped us do just that. Uh, so I think that the systemic change we've had is focusing on teacher retention and being intentional about the things we do to help retain these teachers in terms of our mentoring and induction, in terms of the impact that leadership, instructional leadership has on retention of teachers. So focusing on improving our leaders, the leaders in the school system, as well as focusing on uh, the things that help teachers become more effective. Uh, I think that the students of the Dorothy County School System uh, will benefit greatly because we'll be able to uh, have more effective leaders, which will lead to more effective teachers, retaining those teachers to impact student achievement. And that's the main uh, goal, is to impact student achievement and help prepare students for their futures. One of the great benefits of bringing together this cohort of states and districts with, uh, that are all experiencing these common challenges is that T4T states and districts have had the opportunity to come together to really learn from each other. We've been really impressed with how districts have begun to form the ha kind of habit of engaging in continuous improvement cycles and, and thinking about how they can systematically collect data over time to just understand to what extent their strategies are having the, the desired impact. 